Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Jay Wayne, you know, representing Team Take Profits. And it's a beautiful day here, man. And I appreciate y'all spending a little couple minutes of your time with me. Um, this is a good video. It's going to be about scalping, um, you know, something light. But the market is doing some interesting things right now. And really, the setups is becoming easier now. Like, like right now, the market is setting up and it's looking really good and usually around this time you know the market is not looking so good it's kind of you know all over the place and if you're a day trader like it's some great moves that's happening and they're becoming easier and easier and in this video i'm going to show you um i made some good profit about you know a little bit over six thousand i believe i think it was so i'm gonna show you my thought process and and how we capitalized on it hey if y'all want the tips for the pips if y'all want to quit being a nine to five slave, then stay tuned because this video is about to bless you and lace you up. Let's go. Team take profits. The movement is real. Team take profits on the move. The movement is real. Fifty pips a day. Watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. All right, team, so here we are on GBP USD. And if you can remember on my live stream, um, I actually went over chart markups and I told you guys what to look for. And I'm gonna put a, a insert a clip of it right here. I'm gonna insert a clip of GBP USD, all right? And here's the flag. All right, so that's the flag pattern. Wait for that to break. Yep. Wait for this to break out to the downside, and um, we good. So make sure y'all screenshotting or writing this down, okay? Price reversed right here. Right here. Right where it reversed last time. That's where it came right back to. What a coincidence. I don't know why people, I don't know why people can't make money. All right, so that was the plan. That's what I was waiting for, okay? And I got the market, I'm a, I'm playing it back for you to kind of show you my mindset. I'm on a four hour chart. It's all about top down analysis with me. Even though I'm a scalper and a day trader, I'm doing top down analysis. So obviously you see this big downtrend, okay? Price pulled back. Easy, that's what I'm saying, like in the in the beginning of the video. Easiest trade setup in the world, right? Like flag pattern. Flag pattern all day long. Like mark that up. Alright. So <clears throat> that broke. Now here's the thing. I didn't catch that. I missed that. Okay. Because it didn't happen during like my trading hours or or whatever. So I missed it. But I see that we, we on a four hour chart. We've broken the trend line and below the 50 moving average. That put us in a 50, uh, uh, that put us in a seller's market. All right, so I went down to the one hour and I'm like, okay, we even, we even, uh, pulling back on the one hour now underneath the 50. Cool. And I'm gonna mark up the structure now. One thing I noticed was beyond just the, the, uh, the trend line break or the, the flag pattern, I noticed that if you look at, I noticed that price pulled back to a, a, a supply zone. Price pulled back to the supply zone. Look, let me show you. This right here, this area right here. Boom. You see how price just dropped from there like super hard? Yes, you do got a little bit of consolidation, but you got a really, really like big drop that happened. So when price get back up to this level, I'm looking for, you know, a reaction. So, you know, it can break through it, but it can drop. But I'm I'm definitely noticing that that's going to be a, a pullback area. This area right here is going to be a pullback zone. So, so look how powerful that is. Price pulls back to that area right there. Let me blow it up for you. Price comes back and pull back to that area where it exploded from. All right. So, boom, you capture that. Now, all you need to do is wait for price to just go back into this downtrend by breaking the flag pattern. So, I noticed that. I missed all of this action right here because I pretty much missed this breakout of the flag pattern. I missed it. Um, 
because it was outside of my my trading hours. I stick to my plan no matter what. I'm not chasing the money. I'm not greedy. I stick to my trading plan. All right. So I missed it. So I'm like, yo, in order for me to get into this trade again, in order for me to, to participate, I need a, a discount. Like I need I need to get in at a great price point. So I began to start to look for where is that good price point for me. So basically, I'm going to need it to pull back. I'm going to need it to pull back. At least like look at these areas right here. You see these these wick areas right here? <clears throat> see this how price st stuttered here? Um you see like this area right here? See the, these are my pullback areas. So because that's what price stuttered at in the past. Price will at least need to retest these areas. So I just waited for it. <clears throat> and here you go. So now here's the here's the retest. So now at this point I'm I'm ready to enter now. So pretty much now that I'm seeing this at this area, like you can see right here, same area. Price price pull back there in the, in the past, price pull back there again. When people say they don't believe in back testing, I don't they, I think they're fools and don't believe them because you knew that something was going to happen at this area because it happened there in the past. So that's what I was waiting for. Price dropped down and and this and let me show you where i took my entry at my entry was 1.27937 so that's what i was telling you it pulled back at this area and i'm i'm in that boy all right so guys i got my uh my entry my stop loss your stop loss is going to be above this structure right here so your stop loss is going to be above this structure it has to be it can't be where you want to put it so put your stop loss up here. And so now what I, the next thing I did was I pulled out the pivot points. Now team. And then I went down to the 30. Now look at this. Do you see how price is underneath the 50 on the 30, right? That's that's a go. But the 15 was 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 it told everything when I went to the 15. Look how it's breaking the 50 now. It was already underneath it on the 30. Now, look how it's breaking through it on a 15. That's game time. And then if you go to the hour chart, it's been underneath the 50 right here. It's a clear downtrend. So let's go back to the 15 minute. And that was my entry. It was game time. Now, I preferably wanted to get in a little bit higher, like up here as it was breaking it. But I didn't catch it like that. You know, it's not always going to be perfect. So my entry was somewhere in here. I forgot what I said, but. My entry was somewhere in there. And you can see on the left, my profit's rolling. You know what I'm saying? So it was back and forth a little bit. I was in profit. Then it pulled back on me a little bit. But now the, here, here's what's interesting. Look at the pivot points. Look at this S2 right over here, right? Price pulled back to that S2 pretty much and rejected. Boom, it drops. I have super confidence that, you know what I mean? Like this is going to happen. Like this is going to drop for me. Pull out the Fibonacci from this high point to this low point boom do you see do you see how powerful this is team golden zone right here let's pull out the golden zone boom golden zone right here game time and that's how your boy took the trade that's how your boy got six thousand okay i'm gonna show you these uh day trades um every time you know i take a trade or whatever i'm gonna try to show you my thought process on them because over time you're gonna start to understand this okay now look at this from pivot to pivot there's no pivot in between here look team team there's no pivot in between so that's pivot to pivot that's pivot to pivot team all right, there's no pivot in between here. So let me delete that. So now you can see how this trade took place. And it's just as simple as that. That boy dropped. Boom. Now look, this is what I want you to know. I'm taking profit. What good is it me to, for me to scratch out an extra 2,000 in the market to get eight or get an even 10,000? I'm taking profit. It hit the pivot, take the profit. Because what happens after a breakout like that? You get what? Comment below. Comment below what usually happen after a breakout. All right. Yes. If you comment it a retest, you're absolutely right. OK, so that's what happened. So why would you uh, be greedy 
and then price comes all the way back up to the entry. Why would you be that much in profit just to potentially lose it all? It makes no sense to me. If anything, I'm going to take profit and then let the retest happen, however it's going to happen, and then reassess. Reassess the trade and see if I want to take the drop again or if I'm going to take the buy at this point. You know what I mean? That's how I think. So that's pretty much what happened, team. And it, it, what it did was it went all the way back up to that golden zone. And I think it dropped again or something. So, <clears throat> you know, there you go. So that's what happened. So why, you know what I mean? I'm taking profit. They don't call us team take profits for nothing. You feel me? I'm absolutely taking profit. And this is how I compound my account, uh, scalping and day trading. All right. So if you guys want mentorship, if you guys want, you know, help, day to day getting my trade setups because you know we call this out for the team every single time every single day monday through thursday i'll be happy to help you all right team so i hope you got some value out of that i just wanted to upload um my process upload um you know whether i win or lose you know i don't i really don't i don't trade a lot okay i only trade one or two times a day okay so if i'm only trading one or two times a day and i'm losing i'm not going to be making no money obviously so I, I really don't lose that much. Honest to God, team, I really don't lose that much. Um, if I do, it's really, really small. If, if I come across a losing day, I'm going to record it. I'm not going to skip it. I just don't lose that much. And I'm not lying to you. Um, go on social media and you can see like some people on my team that be um, on my Facebook or Instagram. They make comment like ask them like do JB lying? Do he like I really don't be losing that much. And I send him I send my trades out to the team. Monday through Thursday, and they all went. It's clear wins over and over and over again. Like we're 75% winning all the time. So, um, so I, I, I mean, I, I, I will show you my losses, but they just don't come across that much. But when they do, I will. And I pray, I pray I don't lose. But I know that's not a reality. So, um, I hope this video helped you, team. Um, just taking you through my my trade morning, you know, London session. I love you guys. Just constantly thinking of ways to help you guys master the Forex market. All right. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And let's make this money, baby.